Salute and thank you, Nerd Soul. Oh yeah, late ill kid at one young so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's go. Look, it's nerd soul gaming, y'all. It's been a minute since we've been out to get into some gaming stuff. And ha <laughs> ha, we ain't by ourselves. I have the god of destruction. Open mind, what's up? What's up, nerd soul family? What up, FGC? It's good to be back on the mic with y'all. Mm. Mm, mm. That's what this story got to start off with. Just a mm, mm, mm. so uh, weeks ago, Capcom told us. Look, said they said, "Hey y'all, look, <laughs> we gonna give y'all that Capcom fighting all stars. Y'all gonna give them that uh, or the Capcom uh, arcade edition and all that. We can bring them back to old school. It's a collection. It's a, it's a collection. fighting collection." All right, the Capcom part and they doing they doing part one and deuce. All right? right, so they getting oh man, ooh, people was happy. They put out the trailer and they said, look, not only are you gonna get these fighting games, oh, but y'all gonna be able to uh, do training, uh, see it play online, look at the frame yeah. count and the frame date. Y'all know y'all love frame data. Oh, y'all was ooh, y'all was getting data. a treat. <laughs> They got physical versions. They got digital versions. It is a fighting game player's dream. Oh man, people rejoice. They said, we gonna be able to play all the goodness. And you wanna know what people were most excited about? Do you know what people were really excited about, Open Mind? Oh, they was happy What's about, that? they were happy about that. Marvel versus Capcom 2. Yeah, mm. buddy. Mm. Mm. That Marvel versus Happy. Capcom 2. All, all of the 30, 35 plus year old people was happy. Mm -hmm. Anybody that was born in, say, the 80 or after, may, maybe between 80 and, I don't know, like 90, 92 or something. Everybody who was at least middle school by the time Marvel versus Capcom 2 came out, oh, they was happy. Mm -hmm. They was happy. Oh, they was smiling. I mean, don't get me wrong, they had other games. They had they had uh, X Men, Children of the Atom, Marvel superheroes, but oh, that Marvel versus Capcom two, we mm -hmm. changed the game. It's, the it's probably the most played game on that collection. Yeah, probably the most played game. Now, I actually owned all these games physically on other systems, but I got rid of those when I heard this was coming out because I was like, I'll just buy this and I'll be able to play it at home whenever I feel like it, right? So there's no rush anymore. Just go on Steam, buy it whenever at my leisure, right? So anyway. People were talking about Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It seemed like we were all going to be happy to be able to relive the 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 nostalgic times of going to I don't know where wherever you were discover uh, at uh, Discovery Go Discovery Zone Pro Park Putt Putt Golf the the malls arcade wherever y'all might have had standalone arcade somewhere. Everybody could be able to relive this dream of nostalgia from the comfort of their own couch. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Whew. So sadness covered the land. <laughs> sadness covered the land. People uh <laughs> people are asking for a refund. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was trying not to laugh. People are, people want a refund. People say, hey yo, Capcom, I want my money back. They said, look. I know this is the Marvel versus Capcom, you know, fighting collection. And I know we asked for this. But we want our money back. Now And they're trying to blame Justin Wong for it, but that's, that's And they trying that's to blame Cap, Justin though. Wong that's for Cap. it. That's Cap. Because <laughs> there's full videos. There's like there's a video on YouTube uh by Yoga Flame24. It says Justin Wong making players ask for a refund. Justin Wong ain't that's making Cap, players ask Cap, for no though. refund. That's cap. I, I, I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna chime in real quick. I'll say this to the FGC. Well, nah, nah. It, it's on you now. Go on, go on, listen, drop, drop that info. I why saw, why I, are they asking for a refund? I saw where, and this was for today. Well, it don't matter what today is because the video will be out after this. We done with this report, but I saw the thread where they are trying to imply. That Justin Wong, aka the Wisler, mm. is 
single-handedly responsible for people wanting a refund for this Capcom collection. I'm calling Cap on that because Justin Wong is an OG pro player. We about the same age. I'm 41. I think he's 43 or 44, one of them. He in his, he in his early 40s, early to mid-40s. He's an OG uh, in the FGC, you know, he the man that he's the, he was the receiver of the Daigo Perry. You know, we know that that is a moment. What is it? Moment thirty five. What they call it when he fought Daigo years ago and did the Daigo Perry. Okay, but Justin Wong is still a legend in the FGC. So to say that he's the reason y'all want the refund, that's cap. Right. Nah, it's, it's if you if really... you if you run up to ju- if you get matched to Justin Wong in any fighting game, especially like a hyper fighting, fast paced fighter, where it's like you know, while we're Capcom or uh, one two three or, or four, um, any fighting game, right? In Street Fighter, it doesn't matter what it is. You don't get mad for losing to Justin Wong. That doesn't make you rage or upset you, right? That's that's cap. Right, the reason people want a refund is because they didn't patch Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and get rid of all them glitches and bugs that let you do infinite combos in that game. Because those glitches and bugs were on the arcade cabinets back in the day, they own the Dreamcast version. Any and every other re released version up until this point, uh, in a standalone release of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. It only held a very, very small group of hardcore diehard players for that particular game. Marvel's Capcom 2 has its own community, but that community is very small in comparison to the entirety of the FTC, right? Mm -hmm. Most people who play that game are age 35 and up. Most of the people who love that game, remember that game, uh, that's the game that got them into the FGC, whatever their story is, whatever their entry point into fighting games or that game, they are at least 35. At least. And then going into the 40s, sometimes 50-year-olds. Okay, so that group of people, that group of men are either married now or got kids, not married, but they're older now and they got jobs and they got stuff to do with their life that, that they're not as hardcore at gaming as the new generation of FGC that's been now who only heard about it or may be playing it on Fight Cave because they all got PCs, but they're not, that's not what, that's, they're not as hardcore with it as the smaller group of old men who play that game. So the reason an actual true reason they want a refund is because of the infinite combo uh, that that you can do. And I say infinite combos, only a few characters can do it. Iron Man got one. Magneto got one. Um, Sentinel got one. Doctor Doom has one. Psylocke has one. Yeah. And I think another character off the top of my head, I can't remember. Somebody can comment in the comment section. Uh, if, if you know add to the names I forgot but I threw those names out there because when you go into the rank server on this game you're gonna face the, a team of those uh, uh, those combination a team of three of the combination names I just missed yes and, and, no and like, I, like I said before even back when the game well no, I'm sorry <clears throat> not as I said before as I said with you offline because uh, people they listen be like huh you ain't said that yet but uh, but as I said offline even when the game came out it was quick you could tell quickly i used to play it on dreamcast like i I mean of course i played it at uh at the arcade but when it came home for dreamcast i was like cool i could play it at home so it came it it became you know evident very quickly that if you weren't using a collection of like magneto psylocke and doom or magneto sentinel and storm or whatever you weren't going to really be able to play this game like i mean you could play it like on your own but you couldn't like really play it 
competitively. You're, you're competitively. not winning that. You're not and, winning that match. Yeah, much. there's you're not winning that fight. there's there's a collection of like six to seven characters, and if you're not them, so you can't really play characters that you think are fun and be able to be competitive. That's why there's even um shouts out to Mighty Keith. Mighty Keith has a um a uh, skit about the Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection coming and this guy, uh, one of the, his versions is like, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is coming out, it's got like 50 something fighters he's like, oh yeah, how many of them are, uh, are viable? He was like, don't worry about that because <laughs> like, mm -hmm. I mean, okay, for, for instance, myself I like Spider-Man, I like Wolverine, I like the Hulk come on, man Not come on, that. man and Wolverine come can on. survive a lot of this stuff uh on that game but you got to really be skilled yeah to be to have a what i would say like a level playing field with someone picking a team of people that they just like instead of mm -hmm. you know the the ones that you kind of gotta pick it's mm -hmm. you know it's it, the the fun factor drops very fast right. um so when this game was coming out I was wondering if they were going to because I mean there's tons of videos about I mean because people are still playing have been still playing it on fight fight Kate. So I was wondering if Capcom was going to patch out all of the glitches, the infinites, all the crazy stuff. All the crazy stuff that you couldn't do back in the day when, you know, I mean now you can, you know, throw in a, a patch and do an update and update uh note notes and everything you couldn't do that back then you just put out the game and that was pretty much it so now you can do that so i was wondering if they were going to pass this stuff out and they did not and since they did not there's a whole bunch of people that are like yo man this game is broken because see let's be honest the game was broken back then that's why the glitch uh glitches and stuff like that worked on some of these games because that's why it's called a glitch it's not supposed to work like that right so what they're saying is hey yes justin wong and people that people have that have learned these infinites are you know crushing us but that's not that's a symptom of the actual problem the actual problem is the game is broken right it's a it's, it's a busted game so the game is broken it needs to be fixed and it shouldn't have now the funny thing is i bet you if they would have patched all this stuff we would have gotten the same amount of videos from uh from all of these quote pro players that <laughs> i put i put some hard quotations around <laughs> with my fingers but anyway talking about how they should have left it in you know for the posterity of the game mm -hmm. you know right. they, they probably would have been like well you know I me mean? you have you have to you have to leave that stuff in that that was the game and it's like yes that was the game at the time but since it's 2024 no one wants to play a broken game no nah, we need or maybe uh maybe a situation where you could put like toggle it on and off like okay i want to play the original shipped game and all the mm -hmm. people that want to play the original shipped game can play that but for people that want to play a game that isn't broken, they should be able to they should be able to buy a game that's not full of glitches that are known glitches for like I don't know 10 15 years. When did when did Capcom Mark MVC2 come out like 2000? I don't remember. It came out a long time. Know. So anyway, I'm, I'm, while you talking, I'm gonna look at 98 up. or something. I don't, it came out a long time ago. Those glitches have been known for years. Look, glitches that are so known that there are certain characters that they do not allow you to use in tournament yeah february 2000 okay in year 2000 cool so there's so so much so that there are characters that do not allow you they, they don't allow you to use in right. tournament so it's like that's what the real thing is about now of course there's the memes and everybody likes to troll and laugh at folks getting you know getting hit with infinites but i would like to move the conversation on to now i mean of course this game has kind of like run its course and you know capcom really is just kind of like squeezing the last bit of juice out of this you know lemon but this made me think about some other games because you brought it up about um a game that i used to love love to play which was uh uh battle for the grid power rangers yeah power rangers battle for the grid is notorious so and it has infinite in it 
and the people don't want to play it. The thing with that game is infinites weren't there initially. So when I first purchased Battle for the Grid, and I didn't buy it when it first came out, I, I let it I let it rock for like a month or two, and I finally just grabbed it because it was on sale on the PSN uh, PlayStation Store. It was like a little discount or something. I, I didn't pay full price. I think I, I spent like maybe 10 bucks for it when I downloaded it. So it was fun, you know what I'm saying? It had it had the Marvel vs. Capcom feel, tagging in, tagging out, tag attack, assist yeah. attack, all that stuff. Right? Everything that you want in a tag for the battle. And I like Power Rangers. I came up with the Power yeah. they, Well, I was a little, I was probably a little too old. Well, mm, not, not really. I remember Power Rangers, like the first gen that on in the US when it got brought under Saban or whatever. I was mm-hmm. like in fifth or sixth grade. Yeah, I think so we I, all come up so, in that area. So I area. like Power Rangers. I was like, oh snap, I kind of came up with them. Oh, this is dope. And the game looked good. It looked fun and it, it was fun good, to so play. It, yeah, we, me and you played it. We fought each other in it. It was, it yeah. was dope. And the but, price was right. It wasn't a super yeah. expensive game. So what happened was though, we first, the version of it that you and I played, I think we streamed it too. I think we streamed it on your channel, matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Um, when we were, you and I were playing, it, there were no infinite combo glitches yet, right? They they then patched something. They buffed some characters, nerfed some characters, which then opened the door for infinite combo. Because the creators of the game, the devs themselves, admitted this that they are they like games where there's infinite combo the devs themselves who created that game were former were were avid players of fighting games and felt like the game the fighting game scene at the time was was dry and i think it was what mk11 was out i think it was uh Tekken 7, I think. It was a lot of games that were just out at the time. Tech, uh, Street Fighter 5, and they were just calling themselves trying to, you know, rip, uh, push, drop some heat into the FGC and stuff, right? Okay, I get you. So, and, and I, I'm just paraphrasing. I'm not saying it verbatim. Of course, they said it completely different to me, but that's what they were alluding to, is to the fact that they themselves are hardcore fighting game players and that a lot of these companies i mean they just they just took a, a huge dump on a lot of these companies without saying their name saying that you know what this is what the community really likes community likes stuff like this infinite combo stuff is what they were referring to soon as they allowed for that their online community dropped to nothingness it's probably 30 people in the world right now still logging in playing battle for the grid and those 30 people live in mexico or 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 south america <laughs> right there's 15 of them in mexico the other 15 are in brazil or south america somewhere still logging into that server because once because they didn't put a defensive option mechanic in there all you could do is block that's it just block there's no defensive meter there's 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 no no burst burst. or something like that there's no combo break there's no gravity to where the combo drops and damage scales the crazy part is there's not even no damage scaling you know how you're doing a combo a long combo and it damage scales so you want to drop that because you're just mashing buttons you know just to be cute at that point just to get the most hits but you're not doing no damage which i don't mind because i know it's, I got a poll right now running. By the way, y'all, I put a poll on my Twitter. It's going to run for like seven days. So it's going to run all the way to next week. Everybody can vote on it. Um, and I just asked a question about do y'all like this type of genre? Yes or no? You know what I'm saying? So just check it out. But the thing is, you once they put that, I don't have a problem with long combos myself. Long combos are okay. But long combos means they're going to stop at some point. And damn it, scale. So uh, I can do, I do long combos, right? I have, I play fighting games. I do long combos. Like I would, I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say, I don't like long combos where, where you can keep going before the gravity sets in. But there's a situation where it's a glitch where the devs of said game allow for this because they're testing these games they're testing it before they patch it before they give it to us 
they themselves mm -hmm. are playing it they themselves are doing the infinite combo themselves and they allow for that to happen okay so what then happens is uh, the the majority not at all the majority of the player base which is a casual player base mm -hmm. don't want that in the game they disconnect rage quit what we call it or they just don't log in right and then you got everybody tracking people saving the and clip also, honestly some of those people aren't really rage quitting they're just like ah it's gonna it's kind of like oh here, here we go it's a, right. might as well put my controller down so it's well, it, this idea they had this idea that people like throwing their controllers across the room and stuff right. it's probably not happening people just like oh here we go, nah, here we go. people are I'm, raging. I'm gonna be floating for the next two minutes yeah people are raging but like yelling probably yelling in the air but they're not gonna break the controllers and things cost too much yeah but the controller the coming is, in at like 70 dollars or something I'm ain't nobody hearing that but i'm thinking it's more so a fact of this is and this isn't what i'm about to say is not my opinion this is reality the truth every fighting game every video game it's it, it makes its money off of the casual scene thank you not the hardcore scene i don't care how much of a god you think you are how og you think you are how skillful you think you are because it's a skill issue it's a skill issue right that's what they like to say those skill issue people who likes to who like to dismiss everybody there's the not game, enough for y'all to carry the game, game is not it's not enough for y'all who log into the game to purchase the dlc or buy the game itself it's the casual scene who feels as though they can mash a few buttons put a little bit of effort not too much effort into getting some win streaks based off of a character that's not that hard to difficult to ex execute right it's and the hardcore gamers are gonna stay on every particular game of course you're a hardcore fighting gamer so you like being sweaty and going online and having these sweaty fights you and you and you and a few well, of i mean until are, it happens to them then the game is trash but but even though it happens to them they'll get mad and rage but they'll still log back in because they're addicted to it so it's not so much as that yes they're mad about it but they don't it's not gonna last that long because they're gonna log back in i'm saying what i'm getting to is the majority of the people who are going to purchase the game so you the dev can recoup the money <coughs> excuse me that you put into the game of development you're gonna make your dollars off of the casual player the yeah. player who's just gonna play it for a few hours and cut it off and then may not log in for a couple more days but they're gonna spend the 59 69 79 dollars may even buy a little dlc if you if you if you throw out some costume dlc whatever dlc but the hardcore guys believe it or not don't spend the money the hardcore gamers will get the base copy of the game yeah they begin to play base with game the, and that's it. the base game the base costumes they're not buying no dlc they don't care about how their character looks they care about how they just want them dubs the cheaters and the modders who come into these games that can mod the game lag switch and cheat whatever they're doing they don't care about your DLC. They care about steamrolling their opponent and exploiting any glitches because it's not a skill issue. It's a cheat issue, right? Most people, and I say this because I am the hardcore gamer that I'm describing. We run into the cheaters often because high level players are going to find themselves at the top of leaderboard, right? I can distinguish between a skilled player and a cheater. I'm a high level player. Got a destruction two times on Tekken 8, which is everybody agrees that Tekken is the most difficult fighting game. Look at your screen. You see my you see my Leroy tearing stuff up, right? As we speak, you're watching it. I'm saying I am a high level player. Not pro, not Evo tournament winner, whatever. But we, we know my track record. I I'm, I'm touching multiple fighting games, not just one, multiple fighting games that I'm climbing to the top leaderboards of these fighting games, right? I'm facing the cheaters and the high level players alike. And I can separate the two because I know how this game is supposed to function. In order to be a high level player, you have to have an understanding of the game's mechanics. What, what is allowed, what's not allowed. Not that I've seen everything, not, not know that I'm going to see everything, because you're going to learn something new every time you touch the game. 
but for the most part, the servers are gonna match you to the same five or six opponents. You know what I'm saying? And all those five or six, especially the higher exactly you get, the, same. the higher you get, you're not gonna you're not gonna have too many. You're not gonna have a variety of matchups. You're gonna fight the same people because you're high in rank. Most of the FGC or most of the people who log into that game you're playing are low in rank or mid tier. So in this matchmaking service, try to keep you within your rank. So my opponents are my skill level. You got the skill level opponents who just honest and they just really skilled. And you got your cheaters who made their way to the top by cheating. So saying all that to say, the few of us that are at the top are not enough to purchase uh, uh, costumes and DLC and stuff to re-help you the dev recoup your money. It is the casual thing. And whether we high players like it or not, high level players like it or not, the casual scene keeps game alive. If you, if like we have the example of the the the, the, the refund for Marvel vs. Capcom collection, whatever, trying to put that on Justin Wong is disingenuous. This Justin yeah. Wong is, is, is allowed to be OP and busted. Like he has experience. He, he, it's like, well, I mean, also, he was there when the game like came out. Yes. But so, I mean, it's, it's not even that. It's not even so much as that. Justin Wong has 35 years in the game, or 30 years. 30 years of experience as the game evolved over time. He touched them, he played them. He was in the, he was in the office with the dev designing the characters, actually giving input. One of the testers. You know, like Justin Wong is not should not be scapegoated here. I'm I'm coming to his defense because it's like because you were matched to him online, Wazler on Marvel's Capcom too. Because you were matched to him and he slaughtered you, you want a refund? No, that's not that's not why you want a refund. Tell the truth because the server's not matching you to Justin Wong that much because he's too high in rank for you. You're fighting yeah. the guy that's you're your fighting the guy who's that's doing that, copying that Justin Wong. That's right. doing the same thing. That's who you're fighting. And what you're, you're really mad about is the fact that the game is broken, which is a right. valid reason to dislike exactly. a game. Exactly. Thank you. So, thank you for that. So, so <laughs> like, the, I'll I'll leave I'll leave us on this because I ain't gonna hold y'all for long. I'll leave you I'll leave y'all on this. Broken games shouldn't be an issue in 2024 did not it or if a game is broken it shouldn't be an issue for long because it should be seen assessed tested out and then patched now of course we we uh for for our fgc i guess meme ability love to see these people getting steamrolled Oh, yeah. it's so fun. It's so it's so great. But these same people that love to see these steamrollers be the main ones be saying the game is trash when they can't win. Pro players right. too. When pro players can't win, they be talking about how the game is trash. Then they turn around and they get a win streak or something. Now all of a sudden they can't they can't put the hand put the controller down. So <laughs> I, I'll I'll say this. I'll throw it to uh, Open Mind for final thoughts. Final thoughts. And where and can they is, find you? Final thoughts, and this is mainly for the devs uh, who are making games or patching games. Like if, if your game's already out and you need to send a patch through, or you're creating a game that's not com coming out yet, keep in mind your bottom line. Right? This is business. Now let's talk business. Keep in mind your bottom line. Who is the casual thing? Create. A fighting game that caters to the casual audience. Do not cater to us, the high level players. I'm including myself in that. I am a high level player and I'm telling you not to cater to me. Cater to the casual gamer because the casual gamers are going to log in and keep logging in because the game is fun to play. It's fun to take a loss that you feel like you could have won where your opponent wasn't really that good in your opinion, or you wasn't overwhelmed in your opinion, you just made a few mistakes with your inputs, and it's like, man, I could have won that. I want a rematch, right? Versus 
somebody like myself that you're gonna face in the in the server, and you're gonna disconnect on me I, because I'm not because I got you all up in the corner, and and it feels I, I know I'm intimidating. I know this, and I'm not saying it to brag. I I'm intimidating because of the constant disconnect that I have on my screen. So that lets me know that. And then I'm got a destruction twice on second eight. Like that's enough. I know I'm intimidating. I'm just saying. I'm I'm like I feel like Justin Wong in a sense where I'm I'm not trying to scare people away. I'm not trying to troll people. I'm actually trying to help the game, whatever it is, have, keep the community because I don't want to keep facing the same five opponents all the time. I'm bored facing these same five five opponents who are my level, but it's it's just boring. I want some new blood, some new faces. Some new opponents because there's still some things I can refine about my own play. Even though I'm winning, I still could do better. I still could have I dropped combos too. So I can I still need to face new people who I've never fought before so that I can fix some things in my game. Fighting the same person over and over again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna learn anything. I'm just gonna learn how to fight that one person that I keep fighting. We need the community to grow. The FGC is the smallest fighting game, I mean, the smallest gaming community. All these other communities, sports and first person shooters and platformers and RPGs, uh, uh, online uh, free to play games, live service games, those communities are way bigger than the FGC because the FGC is so toxic with all of the people who either cheat or are just high level, not toxic, not that high level is toxic. But the high level players are intimidating and then the toxic trolls who cheat are intimidating. And that makes people not want to purchase the game. You need money as a dev. You need to recoup the money that you put and invested into the game that you're developing. So make sure that there's a way for the opponent to escape a combo or some type of situation where it's just infinite, but it's not infinite. Long combos are fine. Give yeah. people escape routes. Give people defensive options. And open mind fella with a Y on Twitter, open mind fella with a Y eighty two on YouTube. Check me out. I'm doing fantasy sports by myself now. If you play fantasy sports, if you even think of it's just fantasy football right now, check me out on my YouTube page. I'm putting out content every week. I'm gonna give y'all a set of players to keep an eye on if you're playing fantasy sports, DraftKings, FanDuel, Prize Picks, whatever apps y'all using. I'm going to do my best to do the research on these players to give y'all the hot, you know, some hot picks that you can add to your lineup. I'm not making your lineup for you. Just giving you some, some hot picks for each individual week. Um, you know what I'm saying? Fantasy sports podcast myself and, and game and everything else. Follow me. Hit me up. I'm your boy. Open mind. Passing the mic, passing the mic back to the nerd. So. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, for me, final thoughts is this. One, don't be mad at people that don't want to buy something that's broken. <laughs> Stop trying to shame people that do not want to buy something that's broken. The game is broke. The game was broken back then, guys. It was. This is yeah. it's, it's fair to say. Ask any dev in the world. They will let you know that the game was broken. Just because they released it and it's brokenness does not mean that it's not broken. Yeah. That means that they're lazy. <laughs> that means that they're lazy and they know that you'll buy it. But I think a lot of people believed as I believed, oh, they're probably going to patch all that stuff out. And then when they got into the game, they were like, whoa, they didn't patch this stuff out. So hold up. So this is just the same broken game that I had back in 2000. Nah, give me my money back. So that's what this whole kerfuffle is about. Yes, you have Jay Wong and everyone using the glitches and the exploits to their advantage, but the fact that the exploit exists is the problem. Right. That's the issue. So, yeah, that's the issue. So with that said, guys, stop playing broken games. Stop giving these devs money when they when they don't uh <laughs> when they don't actually make a game completely and stop trying to shame players that don't want a broken game because y'all didn't do this on Mortal Kombat remember yeah remember yeah. remember that remember remember oh when Mortal Kombat 1 came out y'all was mad about that shoot y'all was mad with MK11 
Which is which don't have infinite combo. It just has long combo. So don't look, y'all don't get to pick and choose just because y'all don't like NRS and Capcom is y'all daddy. Don't uh uh no keep that same energy. Cause if, if oh. Mortal Kombat had released anything with infinite combos or glitches and exploits, y'all would be on a tail for that. They was. Right they actually so. and I mean y'all y'all was. I saw it. They patched it though. They patched it Dang. when they found infinite. And one Got more it. thing I want to say before we go. Mm-hmm. I'm waiting on Marvel's uh, on the collection part two to come out because it's going to have Capcom versus SNK one and two pro and other little uh, rival schools, Project Justice. Like, I love those games. Because yeah, and Marvel schools opinion, was the bomb. In my opinion, those were honest fighting games. Rival schools is a tag battle game, but it's like it's, it's very beautiful for it its was time. It was, it, was, it was ahead of its time when it came out. It, and to me, my personal opinion, it's an honest fighting game honest meaning you, you can only do so much before you reset to neutral no matter how many times or how much you want to juggle that particular opponent it's an honest fighting game capcom versus snk one and two are honest fighting game there is some busted stuff in there busted stuff but it's not stuff you can't overcome whereas marvel versus capcom 2 is deep is probably the most busted fighting game in the history of fighting games Next, and then, and, and strong second is Battle for the Grid. Coming in a strong second for the most busted <laughs> fighting game. <laughs> so, to throw that in there. <laughs> like, guys, come on. Y'all don't get on these people and be mad at them or be making fun of them because they want a refund for a game that's busted. Because y'all be the same people. If they don't give you y'all extra cheese on the burger, y'all be ready to fight in the front, in the front <laughs> of the line. Like, stop this. Look, they spent sixty. What is sixty dollars? Fifty dollars? They spent fifty, sixty dollars for a game that's broken. Uh, yeah, for a game that has been broken for twenty four years, and they have known <laughs> about it. <laughs> twenty four. Okay, years. they meaning Capcom. Yeah. That's a that's a whole generation. That's that's a Bruh, whole kid. That that's a generation. That's a generation. Yeah, They've known this game was broken for a generation. So don't be mad at these people. They asking yeah. for their refund and hold these devs accountable. Because y'all hold yeah. NRS accountable all the time. So yeah. hold Capcom accountable stop, too. Stop letting Capcom off the hook just because you like Kenny Ryu. You yeah, know what I'm just, like, y'all stop like it, bro. Like, just because y'all like a whole bunch of blind characters. Don't stop it. <laughs> man, do not let Capcom off the hook. I don't care how many they, I don't care how much Mega Man they come out with. This, uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Hey, y'all stop coming for too. Justin Wong, man. Leave that dead alone, bro. Because Justin yeah, just, Wong really Justin ain't Wong no ain't toxic person nothing. like that, bro. Like he he probably played toxic. I don't know. I never fought Justin Wong, but Justin Wong is not somebody we need to be attacking in the FTC right now. Like we don't need to and did go and send in long emails with the clip of Justin Wong beating you up in the corner talking about is this is the reason I want a refund, man. Leave that man alone, bro. Justin yeah, Wong it, is a because yeah, really it's not crowd, Justin bro. Wong. It, it's not Justin Wong. It's not Justin Wong. It's really the fact that the exploit exists. So it, I, I'll leave it. I'll leave it with this, guys. Go on. Be honest with yourself. <laughs> be honest with yourself. You don't want be no honest, broken game. Y'all, y'all don't want, want no broken it, game either. The only reason y'all clown it is because it works for you. Now let me add. Let me say this, because they might not, but I bet you. If Capcom comes out tomorrow or next week and says, you know what, guys, we heard you. We're putting in an update. All glitches are gone from all the games. Watch the tears roll. I'm just going to say, watch the tears roll from the same (laughs) people that was just laughing. Watch the tears roll. The tears streaming down their face. But anyway, any ID. S-O-U-L, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Podcast, all that jazz. And until the next time that you play an honest fighting game that's actually upkept with its updates, with its patches, with its uh with its buffs, or with its quote nerfs, when there are balances, we're just saying peace. Peace. And everyone should have a fighting chance and a fighting game. <laughs> Word. <laughs>